Okay, welcome back to Beyond Territory. It's Doug again. Uh, this episode, I suppose it's now an episode. I haven't quite got my head around that bit. Too new to this whole YouTube thing. But for this video, I'm going to look at painting my light, my light French infantry. So starting out, I've base coated all my infantry in a grey, a light grey, just to get a nice... I used to do black and then I found it really hard applying whites and yellows and all those kind of light colours to the miniatures. Um, and then I went white and then I had troubles the other way. So I'm kind of, I've gone for a middle tone, a light grey. Um, and it seems to work for me at the moment, but it's it's all what personal pre uh, it's all personal preference and how you feel your miniatures are working. So let's start with the first couple of colours. Okay, first colour for my uh, French light infantry would be Cadian Flesh Tone for all the skin. Taking your time, coming in. With the colour, try not to miss. I'm not particularly neat right now. Just wanna make sure that the colours are applied as they should do, not too thick. Definitely don't want them too runny. And if I need two coats, do two coats. All right, hands and face. And don't forget the ears. Cool. Everyone, next bit, flat yellow. And I'm gonna focus on small little bits, really. So I'm gonna change my brush for a thinner brush. It's gonna go Basically, I'm focusing on the chords. I probably got the technical word wrong, but whatever the ropey decorations are on his shako. I'm trying to make sure I see them all. Don't miss any. Literally, I've got that one. And then on the epilapse, top bit. Here is yellow, making sure I'm coming in there. Around their collar, the top half is yellow. So what I'm gonna do for now is just paint the whole of their collar yellow. I can come in with the second color afterwards. And also around the top of the shako. Some straps and then the top edge with the shako is also yellow. The very last bit, of the bottom half of the plume feather thing that comes out the top of the shako, bottom half's yellow. Okay, next color off white for my light infantry French. And again, I'm gonna be focusing on some of the strapping uh, his straps going across his chest. I've got quite a few. Just picking out some of them. Uh, so just there. Uh, this guy's going to have white trousers. You could choose to do them blue if you want. Uh, I'm going to do some of my men blue trousers and some of them with white. I think just to have a bit of variety in my squad. Okay, next colour I'm going to add is London Grey. I'm going to use that for the bedroll uh, on the top of their backpacks. Um, some of them got them across their chest, so I'm going to just have a focus on those ones. So just focusing on the blanket on the top of their rucksacks. Okay, with the London Grey. Trying to keep the white straps, keep it tidy. In the next colour, I'm going to have a go at the Contrast Saigal Brown from Citadel. Get a bit of depth in the musket. And um, there's a strap across the chest as well that's got to be brown as well. So I'm just using a thinner brush. Just use the um, Contrast paint straight out of the bottle. And it's right. It's something to get used to a little bit. And then there's, I'll do the other side. And there's a little brown strap. 
goes across the chest if I can get that like so. Next got a lead voucher and a focus on the musket barrels. And the clips go along the basket. So I, what I decided to do was go back in with a flat brown. So I thought the contrast Saigor brown was a bit too dark for the muskets. So I'm just going to go back in like I've done on this one already with a bit of a flat brown. Just make it stand out, make it pop again. Okay, next colour, intermediate green. I'm going to use that for the epilepsy on the light infantry. So just below, just below the yellow. So I'm going to have a go at adding some contrast ultramarine blue. It's a bit lighter than probably the French uniform, but I'm just going to use it as a base colour. Um, no idea, it's the first time I painted these minis. But I thought I'd have a go, see what it's like using the contrast paint. So I'm using it quite heavy, um, hoping it doesn't seep and bleed everywhere. But I'll do a bit. And then the idea is that I'll use the Prussian blue top. Maybe it's like a dry brush. See what that comes out like. Just going to start with the sleeves and then work my way in. Taking my time. And I'm just going to put some Abaddon black on the French. Um, I'm just going to tidy up on the shako. Got to make sure you get the tricky bit in between the braid. Um, I don't even know what they're called. The bits they have cord, the yellow cord, uh, the boots, and then the ammo ammo pouch and scabbards. The next colour I'm going to use is the German camo medium brown and I use the medium brown for the hair on the figures um, mainly the reason for it is that I'd like it to stand out away from the shakos so just make sure doing it up nightly nicely neatly best I can Almost there on the light infantry. I'm just going to look at the water bottles. Now, from my research, they're like metal, but then they seem to be like wrapped in like a wooden like weave of some sort. So I'm going to go for the ones that have got a weave. I'm going to have it like a little light brown on it. And then for the top of the water bottle, make sure it's metallic. And the ones that are not covered um, I'm gonna paint them gray to begin with and then highlight with um, a bit of metallic just another color it's having some lead voucher on the front of the shako I just try it a bit and lightly apply the front detail of the shako. Some of them have uh, a metal chin strap uh, that you might want to apply. Just going to tidy up where my barrel is. Coming back, it's now applying washing time. So a Reichland flesh shade for the skin. Have a go at that first. Next colour, another shade, is Agrix Earth Shade, and I am going to coat pretty much the entire model. Just not doing the face and the skin again. No, 
turn it on. You can know all the details in the miniature. Okay, the next color is Kiss Left Flesh. That's going to be highlighting all the flesh on, on the model. It's the first edge of the nose, a bit on the cheeks, the chin, and the ear. And then for the hands, Focus on the knuckles. Sounds right behind him. Next bit is a bit of a dry brush on the boots, the grey. Scabbards from a pouch. bit it's just to go back in and touch up some of the white now I don't want to do all of it but it'd be really good to tidy up some of the white but I want to look somewhere the light hits it so I've got some shadows on the on the white straps and then start to work on the trousers Keeping some where the shadows are. Just going to highlight a bit of red on the feathers. Okay, next bit I'm going to use some oily steel just to highlight um, the barrel, the musket parts, the metal parts on the musket. Just lightly drag just on the edges, makes it pop a little bit. There you go. And a little bit for the eagle. On the Shaco. Next colour, Prussian blue, dark Prussian blue for the uniform. And hopefully, that'll make it really show some depth in the um, in the colour from the contrast paint I used before. The only bit I need for a little bit more detail is on the cuffs. They have a little white. V, which is a bit of a tricky one. I'm trying to keep it in place. Yeah. Okay, the next color is adding yellow back in to highlight some of the details that are on the shako on the uniform. Take my time. Things are starting to come alive now, tidying up a bit. Now I'm going to highlight with a bit of green on the epaulets. I'm going to use a little bit just on the edges. 